Hey, what's up everyone? Tedrick85 here, and today I'm going to be talking about Marble Madness for the NES. This game was developed by Rare, the same folks that brought us Battletoads, and Tengen, who gave us Pac-Man for the NES. It was published by Milton Bradley, the same Milton Bradley that gave us countless classic board games. With all these names behind the making of this game, you'd think it would be a classic, but what we're left with is a big disappointment that offers very little. First off, the graphics are... adequate at best. The marble you play as looks like a marble. Then again, how could you screw up something as simple as a marble? The plane on which the marble lies doesn't look too appealing, but it gets the job done. The obstacles in this game look really goofy. The two main ones are either a round black thing or these weird green macaroni things. I can't even begin to tell you what these objects are supposed to be, but the sole purpose is to impede you as you attempt to head to the end of the level. The second thing I should mention are the controls, which are really awkward. This game makes an attempt at real life physics in terms of how the ball moves along either a flat or inclined surface, which I do appreciate, but I don't think it was executed as well as it should have. Then again, this is an NES game, and they probably did the best with what they had. Unlike games today such as Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz, or the Super Mario Galaxy games, where they have the means to achieve this. As far as the music and sound effects are concerned, it's probably best to have the volume turned down when you play this. Here's just a sample of the game's music. And the sound effects leave something to be desired, in particular, the sound the game makes every single time your marble falls off the board. Here, listen. Isn't that one of the most god-awful things you've ever heard? Surely they could have come up with something better than this, at least something that isn't annoying to the point where it feels like your eardrums are getting jabbed by an ice pick. The object of this game is very simple. Roll the marble from start to finish through a course you have to navigate through. That's it. Nothing more. What's worse is that this game only has five levels, six if you count the practice race, which means this game doesn't take all that long to beat. One day I was curious and decided to look up a walkthrough for this game and I found one by CubeX55 that is a quote unquote long play that lasts exactly five minutes and five seconds. That only takes about five minutes to beat. To put this into perspective, most speedruns for this game last just half the time. I understand this is based off an arcade game, but don't you think the game designers could have added more levels or offered more in terms of gameplay than simply going from start to finish through only five levels? I just think they could have built upon this concept more than what they did, and the end result leaves you wanting more and wanting something new. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot to mention. You only get one life in this game, and once you use it up, it's game over, and you get to be on the high score screen, which, why you would want to be on the high score screen on a game like this is beyond me. Overall, there isn't really anything else to say about this game. What can you say about a game that takes less time to beat it than me making a review about it? If you're really curious about this game, I'd suggest giving this game a quick look, if you're searching for some real fun, however, you're better off playing with real marbles. This is Tedrick85 speaking. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.